Hi guys, Nice Fish Wild here, and this is my current set of kitchen cutlery that I've been building up over the past several months, and this is what it is right now. This is the uh, Santoku uh, Japanese knife, and you can see how fine the edge is. Let me try and focus. Right, so. Uh, it's really very thin um, so you can have a look highly uh, really good workmanship uh, fit and finish and uh, there is a nice weight to this knife um, it's laminated steel and you can see the uh, laminate line okay um, the uh, core steel is actually, I forgot the name of the steel, but uh, it's made to be a competitor to VG10 and uh, it's supposedly uh, better performing. Um, so far I've used it, the edge holds up well, even though it's very fine. And uh, we have learned to take care of the edge, especially the girl. For me it's no problem because, uh, you know, I'm a... Uh, season knife user and uh, I know how to watch out and uh, look after the edge um, you know but sometimes I can see uh, nicks on the edge um, most are okay just one noticeable one at my index finger uh, must be somewhere in the family uh, but it's okay and so far uh, I don't have to sharpen this knife all I do is uh, touching it up on a strop whenever it goes down uh, and uh, it holds up pretty long uh, you know and so it's really good I love this knife the uh, smaller knife from the same brand and uh, it's in Damascus steel or rather the laminate is Damascus and the core is VG10 also very thinly ground as we can see right and uh, both knives this knife here the Santoku and this um, petty knife they are both uh, convex from the factory obviously it is uh, you know ground very thinly so it's a very high performing uh, convex and uh, this particular knife is called the uh, Saiyun uh, in Chinese. Uh, the Chinese characters there uh, means uh, colorful clouds. And uh, if you look at the Damascus pattern, it uh, you know looks like clouds. So hmm, a very apt name. Uh, you know, beauty to use and maintain, and a really light knife. Uh, and uh, you know, very streamlined handle for uh, you know, um, you know, quick and detailed work, and uh, very comfortable to use. Um, actually, the girl loves this this knife. Um, she uh, tends to use it for uh, you know, she she likes you know this is um, often the knife that she picks up when she cooks. So hmm. I uh, guess they like uh, light knives. Um, and uh, this is the uh, less used knife. Um, this is the uh, uh, Western Deba. Um, its shape is some sort of, uh, you know, a chef knife shape. And uh, it's a pretty long knife as well, actually. Uh, no, I've modified it, rounded all the uh, sharp edges, and uh, it's it's uh, uh, what's it? What's the grind? Um, it's uh, slip of mind. Um, anyway, it is uh, uh, slightly concave on one side. Uh, ah, it's an asymmetrical grind. Okay, uh, there is a name I think. Um, well, slip of mind. So, but uh, over here, 
it uh, it's convex down and uh, has a V edge to it. Okay, so it's some some sort of like a uh, you know Japanese hatchet kind of grind actually. So I use this for chopping coconuts and uh, for uh, heavy bone use that I'm afraid to uh, damage um, those uh, fine knives. Uh, I don't. I don't do uh, bones, you know, with uh, these two knives. Those are strictly reserved for uh, vegetables and, of course, uh, boneless meats. And because of their very fine grind, these two, um, you know, um, the cutting performance is really awesome. And, uh, you know, it's really good to cut with. Okay, trying to focus my iPhone once again. So, um,. And uh, of course, there's the scissors here. Uh, you know, just uh, an ordinary pair of scissors. My kitchen scissors are hung up over here. And uh, this is the acacia wood cutting board. Um, and uh, by the way, this uh, <laughs> toothbrushes are not for brushing teeth, <laughs> you know, for brushing <laughs> some other stuff. Uh, okay, so um, over here um, is the uh, CKC uh, 2.2. This is in D2 steel. And uh, this knife is one of my favorite knives. I'm never going to sell this. I'm going to hand it down to my uh, children in the future. And uh, this is, um, you know, currently used in the kitchen uh, for uh, cleaning fish. And, uh, you know, I've done... I've cleaned fishes with this and uh, you know cut through some fish bones, um, no damage to the edge and uh, you know I even use this to scrape scales off too and uh, no problem. Uh, nice uh, tough grind. Let me focus. Okay. All right. So um, you know very handy in the kitchen. And uh, it can do chicken well as well, chicken bones. Uh, of course, not uh, you know cross sectional cutting through, um, but dissecting the uh, you know the tendon and joint area. Okay. Um, and uh, last knife. This is the uh, CKC pen knife. Um, that uh, you know is a special gift from Kylie for my birthday. And uh, this knife, I'm never going to sell. I know people have asked if um, I would sell, but uh, <laughs> no way, not this knife for sure, because uh, this is a birthday gift, and I treasure it very much, and uh, it's the uh, prototype of his current pen knife, and it really suits my uh, tiny hands, as uh, Stripey McCat Pussy says, okay, so, um, you know, <laughs> uh, um, this knife is uh, has a uh, particularly uh, has a specialized um, use, especially in my uh, kitchen. Um, you know, uh, here in uh, Asia, uh, and uh, I'm a big fan of uh, shrimps or prawns. So uh, when we cook them at home, uh, we would deshell the prawns. And we would, I would use this knife to, uh, you know, uh, slice the uh, the back of the uh, shelled prawns and remove the uh, intestines with, you know, the help of the fine tip. And uh, it really works extremely well in uh, preparing and processing my uh, shrimps, my prawns. So. Um, this knife is really useful and uh, it has been uh, you know ever since it has joined the ranks of my uh, kitchen uh, squad <laughs> my kitchen knife squad um, it has uh, found itself I found it to be uh, very very useful so I'm really happy this is my uh, current set and uh, it's actually very complete um, you know, I just want to have a, uh, a Western Chef knife uh, down the road, 
um, because I haven't really used uh, one before, <laughs> to be frank, uh, a proper one, other than, you know, something shaped like it, like the Western Deba. I also have a, uh, you know, a Chinese chef knife, um, which some people call a cleaver, and uh, that's in the drawer. Um, and I bring it up sometimes. Uh, the Chinese uh, chef knife, or CCK for short, um, it's a very good knife uh, when you need to uh, process a whole chicken very quickly. And trust me, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you are proficient with that, I think that is one of the fastest knives, um, you know, a very quick and uh, efficient knife uh, for the kitchen. And, uh, you know, not the least in processing a whole chicken. So, um, these are my uh, knives, and I bought this knife box separately um, when I saw it at a departmental store one day. Uh, so, uh, a nice uh, knife gang over here, and, uh, you know, I hope you guys uh, enjoy this, uh, you know, uh, short video on my uh, current kitchen knife collection and I hope uh, it, it inspires some of you to uh, you know start looking into uh, more quality kitchen knives because you know when you have uh, quality kitchen knives you know it in my uh, experience it actually makes uh, cooking uh, really more fun and a better experience so um, Try it yourself if you have time. So this is Nice Sichuan. Well. Wishing you mm, a great year, and uh, you know, good luck in everything you do. So uh, take care, guys.